thank you for joining us for today's February the 14th Thought for the Day. The readings for today are Exodus 24 and 25, Psalm 78 and Mark chapter 10. The title of today's thought is, They Flattered Him. Is it true? Can we flatter God? Human flattery emerges out of an an unhealthy attitude of mind to achieve a fleshly purpose. There are many meaningful lessons to be gleaned from today's Psalm 78. It surveys the whole history of God's nation and the good and the not so good, indeed the bad, in their relationship with their God. What is a relationship with God? That is the question we need to answer today. The psalmist draws most of his lessons from their experiences in the wilderness under Moses. Overwhelming evidence had been given to the people in the way of visual experiences of God in action. Jesus said, Everyone to whom much was given, of him much will be required. Luke 12 verse 48. Up to verse 16, the psalmist makes makes a summary of the physical evidence that they had witnessed of their God in action, of the plagues in Egypt and their exemption from all but the first three, the dramatic Passover night, the drama afterwards after the parting of the waters so they crossed the sea on dry land and then witnessed the drowning of the Egyptians. Then came the provision of water and now says the psalmist, the bread of angels in abundance, verse 25, and winged birds and they ate and they were well filled. Verse 27 to 29. At this point, the anger of God arose against them. They sought him, they repented and sought God earnestly. Verse 31 and 34. But what is their frame of mind as they expressed repentance and are seeking God? Were they motivated by a sense of love for God? Now to love someone, in a genuine way needs to be in a heartfelt and abiding relationship with them. So what was now the nature of their attitude toward God? Verses 36 and 7 tell us they flattered him with their mouths. They lied to him with their tongues. Their heart was not steadfast toward him. They were not faithful to his covenant. So what did God do as a result? Humanly, we would have expected a rejection of them, or at least some form of punishment. But no, the next verse says, Yet he, being compassionate, atoned for their iniquity and did not destroy them. He restrained his anger often. This is the message in the New Testament to those in the wilderness of his word. God's all-seeing spirit surrounds us, as it did then in the wilderness. Paul told the Ephesians to put off your old self. It is corrupt through deceitful desires. Deceitful desires, among other things, use flattery to achieve deceitful purposes. Paul says next, And be renewed in the spirit of your minds, and to put on the new self, created after the likeness of God, in true righteousness and holiness, what challenging thoughts this provokes in our minds. In what way can our new self be in the likeness of God? Well, this requires the deepest meditation and the most earnest prayer. Thank you for joining us for today's Thought for the Day. We pray you found it helpful. If you did, please share it with a friend. Remember, as you go about your day today, try and do all to the glory of God, acknowledging that the antidote to sin is not only not to sin, but to do good. Please join us again tomorrow for another Thought for the Day. Thank you, and God bless.